And welcome back to Let's Play Harvest Moon Hero of Lake Valley. All right, before we go, there is one thing I want to check out real quick. So yeah, there it is. We got the tail of the 100 year old cherry tree done. Yeah, we don't have enough to turn this place into a nature preserve yet, but that's fine. Anyways, let's get going. So hopefully a certain event will trigger like right now. Otherwise we're locked out of this path. Okay, we're good. So yeah, this is the last day this event can trigger. It was raining every single other day that it could trigger and other events overrode it, but it's fine. We get to go practice our ocarina. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. We don't technically need a certain person to play the ocarina well, we can just do it ourselves. So, let's get some practice in. Oh yeah, that's right, last time a bluebird did try to attack me. Alright, let's do some ocarina practice. So yeah, it's just this mini game again. We've done this mini game a lot, so absolutely nothing has changed. In fact, I think the, no, the song is definitely the same, but I think the notes are exactly the same too. I'm not really sure. You don't do this as often as I thought you did, but yeah, I'm not sure if the notes actually change any, every single time. The pattern stays the same, but I'm pretty sure the notes uh, change too. And by notes, I mean the color of the notes. But yeah, let's just not screw up. I think I don't think it really matters if you screw up or not here, but let's try to do well. Also, yes, we only know one song on the ocarina. Uh, are we done? Nope, not yet. I do wish this minigame got a bit harder over time, but it's always the same. But yeah, we did pretty well. In fact, we did perfectly. Oh, we attracted birds. That's actually really cute. Listen, does anyone know where we can get some blue paint? Oh, behind Chester. What are you doing here? Thanks, I think. Oh yeah, that's right. No no one else really knows that she plays the ocarina. I mean, yeah, I guess no one else really figured it out. Unfortunately, they don't really know that she doesn't really play it that often, but eh, whatever. We are getting better at the ocarina now. Anyways, let's head to the church now. We can always ask ourselves. Wait, that's right, I have farm work to do. Darn it, fine. We'll do our farm work and then we'll go play. And by play, I mean go to church. That's a type of playing. No, we should probably go see Aurora. Also, we need to go check on the blue mist flower. It should be done any day now, actually. What did it would plant? Did we plant it again? It's been like a week. But yeah, it should be done either. I'm guessing. Actually, it might be done today. We'll see. Either way, we're gonna still have to water it just to keep it growing. It's fine. These potatoes are gonna grow in time. We have four days. I believe in them. I really believe in them. They better grow in four days. There's no way to speed up growth in this game either. There's no like super special fertilizer you can use. You just gotta wait. I'm out of water. Great. So yeah, we'll just finish watering, grab the eggs, grab the milk, and then we'll get going. Also yeah, we should probably keep an eye out at the lake too. Funland is apparently planning something there. Something involving their fi the uh, fish in the lake. Are they going to make a robot fish? Maybe a robot duck. Or maybe they'll just dry up the lake and kill all the fish that way. They have been getting less subtle about their uh, intentions lately. 
Then again, they were never really that subtle. I guess the Robot Crow was kind of subtle. Because it was small and quick. I guess the giant robot tree wasn't very subtle because it was a giant robot tree. Or the horse. They literally brought a car to a horse race. They still lost because of course they did. Alright, everyone inside. I'm gonna grab the eggs. Got my eggs. Everyone come back can uh, come back outside now. Come out of that weird void in the barn. It is kind of weird that's just a black void that they come out of, but I guess that is the PSP game. It's not like the PSP was very powerful, all things considered. It did have very strict limitations sometimes. Also had UMDs, and UMDs suck. But that's beside the point, and off topic. Let's just get our milk. Come on, no, get the milk. Uh, two more pieces of milk and then we're done here. Actually, wait, do I have wa I should have water in my watering can. Here, let me check before we go. Okay, yeah, we're fine. I did remember to refill before we went. Because unfortunately, there's no place to refill water next to the uh, Blue Mist Flower. Weirdly enough, even though there's like a stream right next to it or the Harvest God is Spring. Actually, it might be weird if we got water out of that. Actually, speaking of the Harvest Goddess, there's one thing I want to check before we go. I want to check my uh, relationships with everyone right now. How are my friendships looking? Alright, so I still don't like myself, apparently, and I don't know what I like or dislike. All the, I'm pretty sure all the bachelors are at two hearts at this point, right? Yep, they're all two hearts. Lewis is at one heart. We should befriend him a bit more. How is the Harvest Goddess doing? Three hearts. Nice. How is Alice doing? Two hearts. Also not bad. Uh, who else am I worried about? Rudolph I think we're done with in terms of his route, so we're good there. Ronald maybe? Yeah, I might as well befriend Ronald a bit more. Martha's at one heart. Chester's at one... I don't care about Chester anymore. We're done with Chester. I think Woody's at two. No, he's only at one. Okay, yeah. We should befriend the uh, old people a bit more then. How's Joe and Kurt? Joe's at one. Kurt's at one. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good with everyone at this point. Awesome. Still, if I run into any of them, I'll just make sure to throw them an egg. Actually, I'll be sure to hand them an egg. You should never throw someone an egg. That never ends well. Also, don't go over the dog's bowl. That's just rude. Alright, so, off to the church? Because we do still have to talk to Arroyo about, you know, helping us summon the bluebird. Let's see if she's in. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. We might have to wait till tomorrow to continue this event then. Because it does not look like she's here right now. No. Also, wait. Nice. Alright, let's get out of here then. Oh. Where did my horse go? There he is. Fortunately, we have plenty of time for this event to trigger. Thank God. I think we have until like the end of the month, honestly. So we have plenty of time, like I said. We'll try coming back tomorrow. How's the blue mist doing? It's doing... Okay. Okay, yeah, it's almost done growing, ju judging by its look. It's probably gonna be another day or two. 
Nice. Okay. So, what else can we do today? Oh, it's almost noon. Let's go see Alice. We haven't seen Alice. Wait, it's Saturday. Darn it. I keep forgetting weekends are a thing in this game. She's already gone. To yeah, she's already gone. Oh, well. Okay, never mind. Might as well give the Harvest Goddess something then instead. But yeah, tomorrow morning I'm coming directly to the church, no matter what. I think we can trigger it as early as like 6 a.m. I want to get along with girls better, please. Nah. Honestly, her wishes haven't really been working lately. I don't know why. I think it's just complete RNG, so... There's nothing we can really do about it. Oh wait, there she is! Okay, wait for it around the corner so that we can talk to her. And, hi there! Nope, okay, fine. We can't do anything today, then. Let's head home. So yeah, crops and watered. I think we're pretty much done for the day. So I think I'm just gonna go to bed super early. We could have gone fishing or mining, but I don't really feel like fishing or mining right now. We'll be doing plenty of f uh, fishing in the future. But today, I think we're just gonna call it early. Off to bed. Hi, doggy. I fed you, right? Yep, I fed you. Just have to make sure. Actually, let me check one more thing. Sunny, sunny, sunny. Rainy. That came out weird. Darn it. Alright, fine. Of course it's not gonna be sunny. It's never sunny. Oh well. I think we can still trigger this event though, but there's something else that I was hoping would happen today, but unfortunately because it's raining. Yeah, it's raining, of course it is. Well, at least we don't have to water a super field anymore. Actually, wait, what day is it today? The 12th. Okay, we still have a few days. Wait. No, no, okay, no. The 15th isn't going to be a Monday. So, yeah, we, we've got three more days. Anyways. We need to feed the animals. How much chicken feed do I have left? 45. We're fine. But before we feed the animals, I do want to make a beeline for the church. I want to get this event triggered as soon as possible. Here, have a cat fit. Right. Gotta make sure I'm at the right hitbox. Have a golden egg. They're good for you. They're also extremely valuable, so you better pre appreciate that. Blah, talking. I swear I can do it sometimes. Anyways, like I said, we're going to the church. And we might as well check on the blue mist while we're here, too. Like I said, this should be done growing any day now. That being said, because it's raining that the event that actually acknowledges the fact that it's done growing won't trigger. It only finishes growing if it's sunny or cloudy out. Huh. Weird. That should have started. Odd, but fine. Yeah, I know how you feel. Alright, well, whatever. We'll come back later. For some reason, this event just does not want to trigger. Well, maybe we'll try, like, later in the month. That's weird. Oh, wait, wait. Where's Chester? I'm pretty sure Chester has to be in the church for it to work, but... Wait, where is Chester? It's like 7 a.m. Shouldn't he be here? Maybe you went for a super early morning walk in the rain. Okay, yeah, Chester disappeared. That might be why it's not working. We can't ask her about Ocarina practice without Chester. We don't have the courage to do it ourselves. Alright, we'll come back later then. 
Maybe he'll be back around like around eight or something. How's the blue mist doing anyways? Not quite done growing out thing. Probably another day or two then. Yep, it's still growing. That's fine. It's raining so we don't have to water it today. I don't think we can cut it down with the sickle, but let's not tempt fate by trying. Oh, there you are, Chester. Okay, but here's the thing. It's preventing me from saving the valley, Chester. Do you not care about the valley? Also, are you going to be going home anytime soon? I kind of need you inside the church. In fact, I'm just going to stand here until 8 a.m. and see if you move. Okay, I think he's heading back. Uh, we'll go stop by the church in a second then. Oh wait, it's Sunday. Oh wait, it's raining though. I don't think Alice comes outside when it's raining. Yeah, she doesn't. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, normally Alice would be out here right now, but it's raining so she just kind of sat inside all day. Which, to be fair, would probably be what I would do too. No one wants to stand outside in the rain if they don't have to. Unless it's like super, super hot and you just want to cool off. Or if you just like being really wet. Or if you're really bored and want to see if you can get sick. That last one is a terrible reason to stand outside in the rain action. Let's not do that. Nope, that didn't work. Wait, where is Chester? Is he still not here? Okay, for some reason, Chester just abandoned the church for today for some reason. It's Sunday. You would think this would be his busiest day. Then again, we never really see... Oh, there he is. We just beat him here for uh, somehow. Hi, Froggy. But yeah, have we actually seen anyone else inside the church except for those two? And technically ourselves sometimes? Huh. Okay, yeah, this isn't going to work today, apparently. We'll come back some other day, or maybe later today. I don't think this one requires it to be sunny, but eh. Like I said, we'll try again later. Or later in the month. Probably later in the month at this point. I really don't like the blue bird path in this game. Blue bird? Blue bird path in this game. It's really annoying with all the events you have to, to uh trigger to get it to go on normally. I can't talk right now for some reason. I blame the bluebird of happiness. Actually, I forget if it's called the bluebird of happiness in this game. I think that's why it was called in uh, Save the Homeland. Also, let me check one more thing. Are my potatoes done? Nope. Probably another day or two. Oh, I think we're also out of fodder. Also, these eggs are very, very wet by now. That's fine. They're eggs. Pretty sure eggs are waterproof. Actually, what would happen if you just soaked an egg in, like, water all day? I think their shells, like, absorb flavor, but... I think they're also waterproof for the most part. I'm not sure. It doesn't really come up that often, to be honest. Okay, got the chickens fed. Let's go feed the other animals. But yeah, I think I'm out of fodder, so we need to cut some down. In fact, one day I should just cut down like half the field just so I don't have to worry about fodder anytime. We could do that today, but for once I do not want to get sick, so let's be careful. We're just going to cut straight down the center. Also, yeah, hit the hitboxes for cutting down single squares is also kind of annoying. Anyways, just gonna slowly make your way back to the barn. I am keeping an eye on my stamina, though, and my fatigue. But once we're done here, I think I'm gonna run to the church one more time to see if it works. If not, we'll probably call it an episode there. We could cut down one more row, or two more rows to make it even, but no. 
Like I said, I don't want to get sick at this point. There are a lot of things coming up that I need to not be unconscious for. So we should make sure that we uh, keep an eye on our stamina. In fact, you know what? Just to be safe. Anyways, we'll get everyone fed and milked and then we'll go. Actually, before we go, I do want to check one more thing. What's the weather going to be like tomorrow? Please let it be sunny. That being said, even if it's not sunny tomorrow, we'll still have plenty of time because I just remembered something. I think the days where Funland does things is always sunny, like a holiday or like a festival day. So as long as Funland tries to do something illegal, it'll be sunny. Maybe they have a weather control device. Then again, if they had a weather control device, they could probably invest in things other than a giant fun park. Also, I just realized something. Considering the size of this area, that is, Funland would be absolutely me- uh oh. Uh oh, get back inside. No, bad cow. No, that's not good. Uh. Everyone get back inside, now. Anyways, like I was saying, if Funland is going to just raise this entire area to the ground, that is going to be a massive theme park. Then again, I guess Disney World and like, Disneyland and Disney World would be that big too. I guess that's not unheard of. Never mind. Because we don't really get that, actually no, we don't really get a giant like sense of the space in between areas like around here. It does feel like Leap Valley is kind of spread apart. But that might just be because we have to go through a loading screen every time we want to move from area to area, because PSP. For all we know, like, Leaf Valley is, like, really, really tiny. Anyways, I'm gonna stop at the church one more time. If nothing happens, nothing happens. I do wish we can catch the frog. Actually, wait, I've never tried this before. Will this work? No. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say I was hoping we could catch frogs for some reason, but we can't. Okay, nothing's gonna happen today. That's fine. Chester disappeared again. In that case, I think I'll just end the episode here then. So, next time on Let's Play Harvest Moon Hero Fleet Valley, it's gonna be the 13th of summer. Hopefully the blue mist will be done growing by now, or by then. But, we'll see. So, till then.